Today is my first ever day bouldering in my life and I want to tell you how it's going. I've also lived a very interesting life in terms of hobbies and I want to tell you about that. Almost anything you can think of, I've probably done before. Except for maybe skydiving because I don't like heights. And that's another story why I'm doing this because there's heights in it as well. But everything else plus things you haven't even thought of, I've probably done. Examples include but are not limited to. I've done juggling, I've done jujitsu, Muay Thai, uh, acro yoga, tapestry, uh, Pilates, bar, hip hop dance, swing dance, sun dance, sword training, uh, all sorts of other random stuff too. I was part of a hula hoop group that uh, did the hula hoop thing for the New York Halloween parade, the largest Halloween parade in the world. I was part of that. And you name it, I've probably done it. Now, a lot of people, when they first hear that I've done so much, they just think I'm just super busy. Oh, how are you doing CrossFit and Jiu Jitsu and you've done uh, all this other stuff? You must have a really busy life. In reality, the secret to that is I don't do it all at once. Um, I've done it over the stretch of the last decade of my life, um, ever since I graduated college. And because of that, I've been able to essentially uh, do one new thing uh, or two every week, whether that's a hip hop class for a month or two, and then switch to something else. Maybe that's juggling, maybe that's a foodie, maybe that's uh, being a writer, maybe that's you know, starting a Fiverr online business. Which leads me to rock climbing and bouldering. Why do this when I am scared of heights? Well, I think a lot of people, first off, they are so in their comfort zone that all they do every day is work, gym, go to sleep, watch TV. Um, if you keep doing that, that's fine, but you'll live a rather boring life and that's the extent of it. It's not much extra. So for me, I've always wanted to do something more interesting because I get bored. Now, having lived a rather boring life for most of my life, I was willing to try something different. I didn't want to be stuck like those people who just got kind of boring results in life doing the same thing over and over again. And so even if initially I was like, man, that's not for me, or that's kind of scary, or I don't know if I would like that, I don't know if I'd be interested, I wanted to try it out, and that's why I've done stuff like spin class, cycling, hiking i've hiked 10 miles 15 miles when at first i couldn't even hike two or three miles i've done uh, running i've done a 5k all those things and it seems like a lot but you know when you're just trying to do one thing for a few months at a time and you're just bored at home because you live in the suburb with nothing to do it really adds up over the years and decades and i'm proud to say i've lived and done more than most people Part of my motivator for trying all, all these new things was dating. I was trying to meet new people. But along the way, I found all sorts of things that I would do whether or not there were women there. Uh, chess club, yoga, CrossFit. These are all things I enjoy. Making YouTube videos, social media. Those are things regardless of what's, uh, who's there or who's not. In fact, because I lived in the slow-paced suburbia life at the time, I was motivated to sometimes drive an hour away because I found some activity on Meetup. Uh, and it was the only thing to do there, and perhaps I would find some fun and enjoyment in it, and perhaps I would meet someone. It also uh, cultivated a positive attitude in me and a more open mind. Uh, now, this is something I chose to do myself. There's plenty of negative people as well who aren't, but there are plenty of times where uh, I knew from the get-go or you know, I found out soon after that, yeah, the gender ratio for this event is really bad. And of the uh, eight people attending, the two women there are either not single, not interested, or not attractive. Despite all that, I went ahead and went to the event. I stayed, I made the most of it, and I had a good time. And uh, it was just something that I had to do. And through it, I was able to enjoy a lot of activities, learn a lot of new skills regardless. Uh, now I, 
the know-how to somehow hold a bow and arrow and, and through archery club. I know how to hold a sword and, and use it through a sword training club. And all these things, uh, I think, make me at least a bit more interesting. I don't know if it's really had that much of an impact on others being like, oh, that's so impressive. But I'm proud of it because I'm just such a uh, much more multifaceted person. And that brings us back to rock climbing slash bouldering. By the way, I got this uh, bruise from playing pickleball. So just some more proof that I'm doing all sorts of crazy stuff, crazy events. Uh, so with rock climbing and bouldering, about a few years ago, um, I used to work right next to a giant rock climbing gym. And I never considered going to it or doing anything because I was scared of heights. I didn't like uh, that type of environment where you're basically like climbing and falling. Uh, plus, uh, the whole place was just filled with tons and tons of engineering type of men. And I was under the impression that that would just be a terrible uh, place to, to meet people because, you know, three men to every one girl. Time I was under the belief that you had to go to something that had a very favorable ratio, uh, you know, two to one women versus men, or just a place where you could meet tons and tons of women, like 30 women in a night, which is really only like a few places that you can do that. Maybe like a bar or, or, or nightlife type of scene. So what did I do? I basically said no to rock climbing, one of the few final frontiers that, of things I didn't try. I didn't want to be just one of those dozens and dozens of cerebral engineering men who really weren't doing any well. Sure, they were obsessed with this weird niche sport because it fit their brain structure, but I had enough of that, you know. I've come to learn that it's not so much the city. Yes, I think having more people definitely helps. But coming from that suburban life to something like this, a lot of things are still the same, you know. The whole ratio and the whole uh, love or obsession by engineering men of rock climbing is still there. Uh, so it's really not so much about uh, rock climbing as it is about one, doing what you love regardless of whether it's uh, conducive to all your goals with a limitation of course. If you really, really, really love rock climbing or chess or whatnot, um, that doesn't mean you have to just give it up just because it's not conducive to meeting people. But of course, do it on a measurable, meaningful level that's not taking over your whole life. Still set aside time and channels in other ways where it will be more conducive. Maybe that is a uh, fitness class, a yoga class, a cycling class where the opposite gender actually do exist. And two, I've learned it's not so much about just the ratios and the traffic. Having gone to bars and clubs and stuff like that and getting rejected by you know, 25, 30 women uh, made me realize that Probably one of the most important things is to build yourself up and become the best version of yourself. The whole advice about just be yourself, I think is terrible advice that uh, people give as a reaction, not as something that's actually practical. Uh, instead, you gotta be your best self and be the best product, which will hence increase your conversion rate. You see, I have gone to all these different things tried all these different things, approached tons and tons of women at bars, clubs, and tried to increase my traffic. But what I had to realize was that a lot of people all over the world are not approaching 10, 20 women a day. They may only meet three or four or five new women a week at max because they're just doing one thing, whether it's CrossFit or doing this bouldering stuff. That's not a lot of traffic. And yet they all end up, or most of them, in relationships. So why is that the case? Well, it's because their conversion rate is actually pretty darn decent. Uh, they've cultivated themselves and set themselves up in ways 
that they're seen as attractive. And so, you know, when they do that and they pair that with a social scene that is conducive to them, uh, even if the ratio is not amazing, the traffic is not amazing, um, they are highlighting their strengths in a way that's conducive to their personality, like if they're an introvert. And through that, they're able to form uh, the relationships they want. Now that's just one method, of course. There's many other ways. Some people do uh, just pump it up in the, the clubs and then they create these ratios that are favorable because they're able to generate a lot of female friends and then they have that social proof. There's all sorts of different strategies. But uh, it's just one thread that I really wanted to ponder and think about today because uh, think about it. truth of the matter is um, yeah it's sometimes more about working on myself and improving myself so those no's turn to yeses so that people actually give me a bit more of a chance versus just uh, you know constantly trying to find the perfect uh, place to meet someone in summary one be open to new things even uncomfortable things or things you think you might not like and try them out if you want to live a more interesting uh, multifaceted life and broaden your skill set and experience two uh, if you find something nerdy or that you absolutely love it's okay to keep doing it you don't have to drop it completely it's okay to uh, enjoy it and keep doing it just don't let it take up everything of your life if it's taking away from some of your other goals so for example i don't necessarily like rock climbing that much but i do like stuff like chess or video games or board games but that's not conducive to my other goals in terms of dating so i'll still do some of it but i'll be doing other things and paying attention to what's uh important in terms of traffic ratios uh, cultures all the things that can potentially lead to more opportunities of meeting the right people and then three and possibly the most important the question as jordan peterson has said is not necessarily how do i get or find a relationship or this type of girl or this type of hookup instead it should be how do i become the quality of person the product that someone like that would like and in theory the rest should take care of itself I don't know if it's that extreme because I do think the right city, traffic, all those things make a difference. That being said, one thing that is very important though is, you know, if you can be the right type of man, a better version of yourself, it makes it all easier because the conversion rate, as in the people who aren't gonna reject you, uh, goes down significantly. And that's what I've learned the hard way through trying all these different things. Um, while some do have better uh, ratios, some times it doesn't matter if they're not interested. So hopefully that'll help out and to living a better life. To guys, this was my first time ever really doing bouldering. So it's pretty amazing. I got a day pass. So um, I hear they have a sauna, yoga place, uh, weight room. So I'll be doing some exercise there too and uh, just enjoying my time here.